pushing people to try to, you know, volunteer their time and it just isn't anybody stepping forward. It's a tough thing. They had part of the computer seen the competition and have to move for a lot, do an action, and do something else. And they kind of figured out because if you touch your robot outside the safe area, it kind of points against. Yes. So they had to go pick something up. Well, they came up with a simple idea, more or less a simple forklift. So they ran their robot out, picked it up, backed it into their safe area, then they repositioned it, and then did the second one. And everybody else was, had complicated yeah. mechanism and everything else and couldn't pick the item up. So they had to go out and reset their item. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So there's, the rules determine a lot about mm -hmm. what you do. And so this is one of the things we get back to the fundamentals. Yes. As you were saying, is you know, whether it's engineering school or it's the logic of being able to sequence yeah. things, if you don't have that, you know, I don't think it's a gene. I think yeah. it's a skill set that you yeah. develop over use. Then you know you're going to lose out and not get the idea like that 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 makes it worthwhile. I mean, I think that would be something of you know the schools trying to teach like you know methodological problem solving, and that I'm not sure when you would want to introduce that in school well, because you know brain development would be a big factor on there. But it's one of the things I've heard. I like, I struggled trying to say German and. and High school never quite caught on, but I was took to, uh, had many people telling me that you know it's much easier to learn languages if you're a younger kid. And yeah, yeah. So my niece said that that you know, thing where she uh, little little kid you know, watching just leave the TV and let the kid you know, watch stuff, and she was learning French, and nobody else in the family knew what she was saying. It was kind of funny. You know? uh, breaking art, and I believe learned English from Mr. Rogers. But I remember actually, I, my parents did get me into one computer course over a summer when I was young, and they had a very, they didn't actually do any programming, but they had a very interesting way to explain programming, and where they had, you know, divided up into groups of students, and then there was this obstacle course where one person was the robot, and the rest of the team had to devise the instructions for them, so I got picked as the robot, and you know, my stride got measured, and then everyone went through, and I had to follow these instructions, in which someone made a mistake and sent me into the lockers, which I had to walk into the lockers. Or as I just <laughs> to the teacher was, you know, was sort of chuckling or shaking his head, and many other teams had to had made these mistakes too, but you know, like a uh, conceptual class like that is very great for understanding a computer is going to do exactly what it's told, and you know, it can't deviate, it can't apply, you know, the common sense, and to you know, ter use a term of phrase for that. Like I found that was a very useful to explain that, and then. Uh, or other stuff I've read, like computer problems. You know, that example was always been core to an understanding of, yeah, it was always a human error. So, so these classes you talked about, what, uh, you're, you're from Dearborn, have you had a chance to like run a programming class through the public library? Not yet. Not this particular thing. No, I've done some other like, workshops, training things. Um, and so one of was kind of interesting. So pertinent to the thing here is uh, getting in front of a bunch of people and describing the parts you need to build a computer, showing them how to put it together. Yeah. Like, you know, like passing pieces around so they can see what this thing is. You know, putting this thing together and then describing you know, how to get on the internet, and then from there go to a website where they can pick work and and put in like a uh, a bid to get work from someone to like change a website, things like that. And so basically, think like a homeless person who you know basically doesn't have any any resources at all. You come to the library, you learn 
how to build a computer. We learned you know, how to do a little bit of uh, web development, you know, some simple text editing type of web HTML type stuff. And then you go off to this website, you get work, you make money, you know, not even build your computer. You can then you know, use your computer at home if you have a home or whatever, and you know, sort of build up your work car of things. <coughs> And I did that just like, you know, it's like a one-day session type thing. Um, so, you know, I think a lot can be accomplished in a really short time frame. You know, it's just it's, you get know, a lot of little grouping of things together. Um, so, I, you know, I, I've done a little bit of that, but I, I think that this is, you know, there's a wide scope of things that you could yes. do like that. One thing I wanted to offer that I mentioned my mom is Amelia. She did a master, a couple masters for education and then another one for training. And one of the things that stuck with me is the point that she liked that, you know, from one lesson, most people can retain a maximum of four points. So that lessons, you know, I'm not sure that a marathon session would be the best way to do. Right, right. Well, and so I mean, it wasn't a marathon just on that. I mean, it was like no. you, know, you have, you know, first hour is this, second hour is that, third hour is that. So there's a logical sequence to the to the time. But yeah, you're right. You're, I, I, that's, I, I it's like a bulletin point. You know, with, with nine bullets you have, and you're not going to be able to remember all. I want to be posting up a, a little thing on the walls around here. I can find the right place to put it um, about this. Uh, it's the local computer club is the thing that I'm going to post up here. MD Love. Which is a uh, um, Metro Detroit Linux user group. And we have you know, the email list and the website and all that stuff. So you can check into that if you, if you have to see my little paper up some, somewhere. But yeah, I think that there's a lot of opportunities in the area, either for anybody who's interested in this topic to go a little further and help other people out or learn a little bit more if that's what you want to do. Um, I don't, Personally, understand why Johnny can't go. I was really interested in. I want to do that. Because I can understand you can't have everything. I want to learn how to do this. I want to, you know, play guitar. I want to learn how to do mathematics. Or I want to learn how to, you know, paint or whatever. You have to spend the time on it. Effort. And if the opportunities are real easy, then it becomes better. You know, more likely you're going to do it. When I was trying to learn programming, I couldn't get my hands on a computer. This was back in the day when you know, you just weren't available for the average person. So you know, when finally got the computer, that was really a nice step by learning how to do it. But you know, the big part is, okay, how do you give, I don't know if you guys have heard of these little computers and stuff like that that give away to kids in some of the third world countries and all that. And that's going to be fun necessary since computers are so cheap now, you know. We send all our garbage over to the third world and they burn the building and back up like this.
was talking to someone he very told me about some of the computer training he had gotten through the school district. He was in his uh, mid 80s. He had been teaching in, at the uh, school district since basically World War II had ended, and he had gotten out of the service. Uh, and he had told me one story where he had got all the teachers had gotten put in a computer lab and told them. You need to all know this by the end of this session. And he had basically rebelled against that as it, uh, he was probably in his 60s at that time. He had gone ahead and you know, held up his hands and said, like, I'm just going to be like a student. I'm just completely disconnected here. <laughs> here. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, that was one of the things was working with them to try to, you know, find angles that you know you want to keep using this technology is it's going to benefit you this way I, it's one person I know who got given an, an iPad and it's like you know and then he's no he had no idea what to do with it. I'm like you love cooking right you can get recipes yes. very easily. Well I've tried that with my mom. She basically had the manual typewriter all the years I was doing that. When her brother came back from college, he had this electric typewriter he didn't use anymore. So she started using electric typewriter. Well, though, we finally couldn't find parts for that anymore. So my brother gave her a computer, right? And so now what she does is she, you know, types the letter into the computer, prints it out, puts it into an envelope, and mails it out. It's like, ah, you know. <laughs> so, you know, you have to do a little bit at a time, I guess. Prerequisite checking of any kind, like are you even capable of learning this or not? Or at least they should offer something else before they ship them off into a programming class and discourage them. Because the first class I was in in college was C. I already knew C, so that was easy for me. But I think we were 40 people, and there was eight people left after the second class. Like they all, they all, they all, yeah, yeah, they all go. But they lost their money. Like, so that's the was gone. I did one. I did a basic HTML, but no way from the HTML class went to the second one. So the second one was using Microsoft expressions, which you still need to know some of what, the, what it's doing with the HTML. Mm -hmm. And nobody knew anything, so I sort of had to back up and sort of very quickly try to teach them some, some basic HTML, HTML so they knew kind of what Microsoft expressions was doing. Yeah, well, so I did a little class on HTML. Yeah. It was Interesting that I was teaching it to people who were IT savvy, but just didn't have that particular thing. So, you know, the people in the room that just about jump past the whole, you know, synopsis of what I was trying to say, they get to some meaty stuff that was interesting. And while the other people were just like trying to understand the concept of it, right? So that's what you're saying is that there's different levels of people yeah, in the world. Yeah. What do you do? You yeah, talk right. to the low lowest and you start, you know. Yeah, I don't know if I had ideas about that because that seems to be uh, one of the biggest problems that we have. Well, so I would we suspect the way I've seen uh, there's a, a local group called SEMCO, S E M C O, right? And SEMCO.org, isn't it? And they have a concept that they have uh, a one night uh, a month. And they, they start off with the simplest stuff at the beginning of the, of the meeting. And they work their way to intermediate and then to more advanced topics. 
So you know, what you do is you start bringing people into the lower levels first and give them the basics, and then people who are a little bit more advanced can show up later. You know, and that, uh, yeah. uh, that works if the topics are are short enough that you can you know do that. When, if it's like you know something more advanced, then even the lower level classes that are not going to work too well. Okay, so we have like two minutes left. So say something important, to somebody. Important. Learn programming. It is the future. I think like. From my experience, you'll have less of the problem than you had before where people don't know how to use computers, though. As we go along, people are using computers younger and younger now. Everybody has computers. Right. Right. So that part of it, they have the, at least the basic usage of a computer should not be an issue. Then you'll just have the, the logic difficulties and all the other stuff to deal with. I talked to one that in computer games. Oh. And he says, yes, you know. Can't teach people that have programming how to do the art for the games. They said you teach artists how to program. Yeah, that's it. So, so we thought what well, people did with these things are looking for programming. He's looking for the artist. So like, what do you want the entire scene to do with computer games? Yeah. So that was a, that was a, a technical college once that uh, I, I heard this on public radio yeah. several months ago. And when they did the recruitment, they wanted musicians. Because they knew musicians had the you know the, the wherewithal to you know the, the regimented learning and, and basically that type of background in order to learn all the technical stuff. So yeah, there's there's some synergies there. Okay, well thank you very much. I have several PM buffs uh, scheduled, so you can see DOF, you know what that means now? Everything's cool. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you for putting this on. You bet. <coughs> this will go up on YouTube somewhere. Check, look for my 